Hi guys, welcome back. I know what you are thinking. Will we ever do something practical in this course or the class is going to be entirely theoretical, right? Don't worry. I have loaded this course with tons of practical examples. But for making your learning journey smooth and easy, I have structured the course with well-balanced theory lectures as well. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we will get the feel on how the user interface of NIFI looks and works. Some of the terms used in this video will be alien to you at first. But be with me for few more lectures and it will start to make more sense. One of the best features of NIFI is its easy to use user interface. As you can see, it's loaded with tons of details and options. You can drag and drop the required components you want and connect them and configure them to create a simple or a complex data flow. For example, let's add two processes, get file and put file, and configure it to copy any files from the source to destination. To add any processor or any other NIFI components, we have to simply select it from the top menu and drag and drop it to the canvas below. In this video, I will not be explaining the configurations. This video is instead to show how easy to create a data flow using NIFI UI. Here, I have configured the source path to point to a folder named input and the destination path to point to a folder named output. Both these folders are inside my users tools folder. That's all. And as you can see, within a matter of seconds, I was able to finish this. It's that simple. Now let's start and test our data flow. First, let me start both the processes and see what happens. You can see we are getting play button which denotes both these processors are running. Let me copy a file to the source folder and see what happens. The file type can be of any format. Did you see that? The file just disappeared. The reason is the get file processor is continuously listening to the configured source path and as soon as it detects a file presence, it moves it to the destination path with the help of the put file processor. Now to validate the same, let's go and check the output folder. Voila! The file I copied in the input folder is now available in the output folder. That's it for this video guys. I hope you got a glimpse of the options available in NIFI UI and how easy to use it. We will start to dive deep into each of these options one by one in the upcoming videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.